This video shows you how to use multiple default building materials in RHVAC. The current project is a copy of one of the sample projects included with the installation. Open the default room data window. Notice that there is only one default material of each type. Let's select a few more default materials of each type. Click the button beside the second floor material input and select a floor material. Now select more materials of each other type. Open the room data window. Click the D button to display a pop-up menu showing our available default floor materials. Here are the default floors from the default room data window. Select the second default floor material. Now let's select a roof material for roof 2 and then we'll save it as a default roof. Click the S button to save our new roof material to the list of default roof materials. After clicking the S button, this tooltip appears, telling you that the material was saved to the default room. Click the D button for roof 3 and then select our new roof from the pop-up menu. Now let's finish selecting some more default materials using the D buttons. Now let's open a drawing board project, add some default materials, and select them for objects on the drawing. Let's again select some more default materials in this project like we did for the previous one. Now let's open the drawing board window and use some of these default materials we just selected. Right click the room background and remove the intrinsic floor and intrinsic roof so we can select different materials. Now right click again and select a default floor and a default roof for the room. Here's our list of default floors. Select the second one. Select a default roof as well. Selecting from the list of default wall materials is done just like it is for floors and roofs. Here are our default window materials. And here's our list of default doors. Thanks for watching.